97.3 City FM, Relevant Radio, always. Hello, this is City News Daily on City TV. I am Pearl Akanyo Furi. I will be bringing you the top stories for today. But first, Daniel Isidu, the young man believed to have murdered the member of parliament for Ibuaka North, J.B. Dankwa Edu, made his second appearance in court today. He complained to the magistrate court in Accra about the ill treatment being meted out to him in BNI cells. He said he had been confined in a box-like cell and was only allowed to come out when he had to use the washroom. He was alleged that the security officers don't allow him to interact with other inmates. Prosecutors told the court they would investigate the matter and take appropriate steps to correct it. Lawyer for the suspect, Augustine Obo, prayed the court to allow his client to be examined mentally because he was of the view that Daniel Isidu needed psychiatric examination. His request was, however, dismissed by the court presided over by Judge Stephen Owusu. The case has been adjourned to the 14th of this month. Let's stay with the story because earlier today the opposition MPP held its parliamentary primary in the Ibuaka North constituency to elect a parliamentary nominee to replace the late JB Dankwa Edu. There were three contenders, Che Brobe, Isaac Osei Ampedu and Gifti Chum Ampofo. At the close of polls, Gifti Chum Ampofo emerged winner. She polled 207 votes to beat Che Brobe and Isaac Osei, who garnered 27 and 104 votes respectively. The by-election in that area will be held on the 29th of this month. The three teacher unions, that's the Ghana National Association of Teachers, the National Association of Graduate Teachers, and the Coalition of Concerned Teachers, who are demanding payment of their salary arrears and other allowances, say they are overwhelmed with documents needed to be validated for the payment of their arrears. According to them, they have an excess of 34,000 documents to process for the payment of the arrears and are expecting 26,000 more at the end of this month. In view of this, they have decided to cooperate with the audit service, the Controller and Accountants General's Department, and the Four Wages and Salaries Commission to allow validation processes to continue for early payment. At a press briefing in Accra today, the General Secretary of NAT, David Oferia Champon, who spoke on behalf of the union, said they had suspended the planned industrial action to pave way for the validation process to continue. Now, Ghanaian business operators who have embarked on a three-day strike to protest against tax hikes in the country are meeting government over their concerns. The business operators, the Joint Private Business Consultative Forum, comprise the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Guta, Importers and Exporters Association of Ghana, Ghana Institute of Freight Forwarders, among others. The strike, according to them, is as a result of government's failure to consult them over recent changes in the tax structure of the country. Yesterday, trading activities in Accra's central business district grounded to a halt as business operators closed their shops. Speaking to City News Daily, the president of Guta, George Kwekwufo, said their meeting with government today would inform their next line of action. To our final story, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has arrived in Ghana for a two-day official visit. He was met on arrival by the Vice President Kosi Emisa Arthur. He was accompanied by his wife, Mrs. Amin Erdogan, and more than 150 business and government officials. Information from the Flagstaff House indicates that President Erdogan is expected to hold talks with President John Mahama at the Flagstaff House, after which the two leaders will hold a joint news conference and also address a business forum. Now, President Erdogan's visit follows a 2013 visit to Ankara and Istanbul, by the President John Dramani Maham and an earlier visit by former Turkish President Abdullah Hu in 2011. And that's it for City News Daily on City TV for today. I am Pearl Akanyo Furi. We are back tomorrow with more stories. Thanks for watching.